Hey guys, what's up and welcome to iCode. So in this video, we're going to learn some basics of auto layout, which will allow us to build apps, which will look good on any screen size and also, you know, both portrait and landscape orientation. And let's just see how to do it and how it works. So for that, open up Xcode and create a new project. So file new project. And we're going to be working with single view application. So tap on next and the name auto layout or anything of your wish and the language Swift so tap on next and save this on desktop now quickly jump over to main dot storyboard and let me just select iPhone SE for now and yes there you go now auto layout in Xcode is a solution to the problem of making an app look good for different screen sizes and orientation and it's also you know pretty good to sorry pretty easy to use and I'll show you how so let's get started with the label so from the object library type in label and drag a label onto your screen and now you can see some guidelines guiding you so that you know you could place your label wherever you want on this iPhone SE so for now I'm gonna be placing this at the center of this iPhone SE screen so let me just leave it here now so this particular label is at the center of this iPhone SE screen and my question is will this label be at the center for other screen sizes as well so let's check that so let me tap on this iPhone 4s no it's not at the center it's quite displaced what about iPhone 7 no it's displaced as well and what about iPhone 7 plus no it's not at the center so how to make this particular label center for all screen sizes so that is where we're going to be needing constraints we're going to be using constraints and I'll show you how to use constraints so make sure that the label is selected and one thing when you are designing your app make sure that you make the whole design in only one iPhone that is if you are designing in iPhone SE make sure that you design whole thing in iPhone SE and if you're using iPhone 6s, make sure that you are designing whole app in iPhone 6s screen. So that is my advice. So now make sure that the label is selected and from the alignment menu. So tap on this alignment menu. Now here you can see that horizontally in center and vertically in center. Whenever you select this horizontally in center, we are saying that this particular label is centered horizontally in any container so container may be iPhone 5s 6s 7s so not 7s iPhone 7 and even iPhone 4s so wherever whichever may be the container this particular label is going to be centered horizontally and if you select this one this particular label is going to be centered vertically so now that both are selected this particular label is going to be centered both horizontally and vertically irrespective of screen sizes in any container iPhone 6s, 7, 4s, SE, everything so add to constraints so tap on add to constraint and now there you can see some solid blue lines and blue lines is actually a good sign that we can say that nothing has gone wrong and whenever you see a red line it's actually a bad sign so now that we are seeing a blue line it's actually a good sign so great so now that we have centered this label horizontally and vertically in any container let's just see if that worked so let me just select iPhone 7 and now we can see that this particular label is at center of iPhone 7 as well and what about iPhone 7 plus yeah it's centered what about iPhone 4s and it's centered again so let's just change the orientation and see if that worked yeah so in landscape mode this particular label is at center for every container so we made it so it's that easy guys now that we have centered this particular label let's just see what else we could do so let me just drag in another label onto this iPhone SE screen so let me just place it here now say that you are making an app and you want your title of your app to be on top and also horizontally centered so how to make it and let me show you how so now let's just drag this label onto the top 
with the help of guidelines now you can see that this particular label is horizontally centered for this iPhone SE screen only iPhone SE screen so let me just put it right here and now how to make this particular label horizontally centered for every other iPhone screens as well so we're gonna be doing the same thing go to the alignment menu and tap on this horizontally in any container so add one constraint and there you see we have got a red line and a blue line as well so let me just zoom in and show you what it is so now we have got a blue line and a red line blue line is actually a good sign and red is not so what this blue line is saying that this particular label has got a horizontal position so what that means is we have given a horizontal position to this particular label as we set this label to be at the center horizontally it has got a horizontal position and what this red line is saying that this particular label hasn't got any vertical position till now this particular label can be right here maybe here anywhere it hasn't got any vertical position let me just put it right back so that is the reason we got this red line so how to get rid of it we need to give it a vertical position as well so with the help of guidelines yeah right here so make sure that the label is selected tap on this add new constraints menu right here so tap on this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pin this label to the top of the screen by zero so basically what we are saying is the distance between this label and the top of the screen is gonna be zero so the distance between this label and the top of the screen right here is gonna be zero so pin it add one constraint so now that this label has got a vertical position this particular red line has got changed to a blue line and that's actually a good sign so let's check it if this particular label is horizontally centered and on top in every iPhone screen so let me just select iPhone 7 and yeah it is at the top of the screen and also horizontally centered and iPhone 4s of course and what about iPhone 7 plus yeah it's centered horizontally and also on the top of the screen we made it and let me just select orientation as well yeah it's horizontally centered and top of the screen so it's working and what else we could do okay now let me just drag in another label not a label maybe button this time so a button So let me just put it right here yeah right here with the help of guidelines we can center it not here yeah right here now okay let me just bring in a label not a button label so let me just drag in and put it right here now it's at the center yes yeah, center now okay <clears throat> make sure that the label is selected and now tap on this add new constraints menu and now we're going to be talking about this particular section of course the most important section and don't just get scared of all these values 94 123 and 123 and 117.5 i'm going to be explaining you about it in a couple of minutes so just stay with me so now what is this value 94 saying so this value of 94 is nothing but the spacing between the UI element that being selected right now and the nearest UI element on top. That's it. You got it? No? Okay, let me just say it again. This particular value 94 is nothing but the spacing between the UI element that being selected right now and the nearest UI element on top. That's it. And the value is 94. You got it okay now let's go to this 123 so this particular value 123 is saying that the spacing between this particular label that is the UI element that being selected and the UI element onto the left the nearest UI element onto the left of course there's no nearest UI element so of course it's the end of the screen and the value is 123 and same with the right one and now let's just come to this particular value 117.5 and this particular value 
is saying that the spacing between the UI element that being selected and the UI and the nearest UI element at the bottom is 117.5. So the spacing between this particular label and this particular label is now 117.5. You got it? Okay. To get more clarity, let me just drag in another label. Okay, not another label. Let me just displace this label right here. And now let me just tap on this, add new constraints menu. And now you can see that the values would have got changed. And now there you go. Now the value is not 94, it's now 138 as the spacing has got increased. And this particular values is 123 and 123 as same. And this one got decreased from 117.5 to 73.5. So you got it. And if you didn't get this point or you have any doubt, just comment down below and I'll respond to you as fast as I can. So, okay, with that being explained, now let me just get rid of this label. So delete. Now, let me just drag in a text field. Text field. So drag in a text field and put it right here. Maybe, okay, right here. Maybe right here. Yeah. Okay. Let me just let me just zoom in by pinching my track pad pad pad. Okay. Now make sure that the text field is selected. Okay. Let me just drag this to the ends of the screen. Ends of the screen. Okay. Okay. Done. Now make sure that the text field is selected and tap on this add new constraints menu. Now you can see that the distance between this particular text field and this particular label is 115.5 and the distance between the text field and to the left of the screen left edge of the screen is zero and same with the right and this particular 128 is saying that the spacing between this text field and the bottom of the screen is 128 that's it now what i want to do is regardless of the screen size i want this particular text field to have the width as much as the screen size so what i'm gonna do is make sure that the text field is selected add on the new constraints menu sorry tap on the add new constraints menu and now i'm gonna pin it to the left to zero and right to zero so basically what i'm doing is whatever the screen size may be the distance between this text field and the left of the screen is gonna be zero and similarly with the right so let me just add two constraints and there you go we have got some red lines as well including a blue line and let us see what is the issue with this red lines so this particular pair of red lines are saying that the text field hasn't got any height constraint we didn't specify any height so let us give it a height so let me just give it a height so the height is given add constraint and still it is red why is that because we didn't give any position to this text field so let me just give it a position on the screen so what i'm gonna say is the distance between this particular label and this particular text field is 115.5 regardless of the app screen so whatever may be the iphone iphone 6s iphone 5s iphone 4s the distance between this particular label and this text field is going to be 115.5 so let me just pin it and add one constraint and now there you go everything has turned blue and blue is actually a good sign great now let us check it in iphone 4s now you see we have got this center at the center of the screen and this is top center and the distance between this center and the text field is now 115.5 and regardless of the screen size our text field has got a width of the screen size now let's go to iphone 7 and see if that worked yes the center label is at the center and this particular label is top center and the spacing between this center and the text field is still 115.5 and the text field 
has a width equal to the screen size great so we are going to be using this constraints almost in every app so make sure that you are perfect with constraints make sure you learn everything in constraints just play around with it if you have got any doubt just comment down below i'll respond to you as fast as i can so just don't worry okay what else we could do okay let me just see okay let me just get rid of this center this particular top centered okay let me just get an image view what we can do is we can just drag any image like to the entire screen entire screen okay let me just get an image for this image view so quickly tap on the browser your favorite browser and type in google images google.com okay google.com images and let me just go to captain america captain america and this seems fine so let me just save this so control click control click save this okay save image as captain america and save now that the image is saved let us get that image to our exco project so that we could use that image for this image view so let me just drag in this image to the exco project so finish so now that the image is in our exco project we can use that particular image for this image view so make sure that the image view is selected and by tapping on this drop down you can actually select the image so now that the image is selected from the view mode you can select aspect fit so that it looks good fine so now that we have got the image wow this image really looks great isn't it well okay now let me just select iphone se and see if it looks exactly same as it is looking right now no it the image has got quite displaced and it doesn't look good and what about iphone 4s no it doesn't look good as well what about iphone 7 yeah it the image has got displaced as well so what i want to do is regardless of the screen size i want to see the image as it is right now so i want the image view to fit exactly to the entire screen so what i'm going to do is make sure that the image view is selected tap on this add new constraints menu and pin this on all sides by zero and now add four constraints now that we have got the blue lines it's a good sign and now if you go to iphone 5s sorry iphone se iphone 4s it's exactly how we want it so that's it guys that's all about auto layout and constraints we are going to be using constraints you know almost in every app so just play around with it if you have got any doubt just comment down below and i'll respond to you as fast as i can and make sure that you are perfect with constraints because it's very important well guys if you still feel this topic confusing don't worry we're going to be using this almost in every video from now you'll get familiar with this with every video you watch from now so just don't worry about it it's absolutely fine so that's it for this video we're going to be making a new app in our next video by using all these constraints so i think you are excited about it and thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and i'll be back with another video goodbye